So this is Joel. Joel gave us a hand there over the Christmas holidays for a little bit, and we kind of got him going on his car. Just when you think, what else is he gonna get into? A Miata. Is this yours? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a 96 Miata, soon to be turbo. <laughs> nice. So what do you want to do with this? Uh, new body panels, turbo, and then eventually I want to make it my drift car. Nice. This is the right place to do it, I guess. Somebody went mudding with it first? Or? Oh yeah. <laughs> I, I had it out of my fields. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's your baby that uh, you took mudding. Nice. Oh, this is after it's polished. You shouldn't have seen it before. Hey yeah, guys, here's with my uh, 1996 Mazda Miata. Uh, under here, these terminals right here won't work. So uh, when I turn the key, nothing's going on. So uh, what I did, took a screwdriver, touched these two. Now we got a running car. Yeah, she's pretty rotten. <laughs> What'd you do, Joel? I don't want to fix this thing. One more bolt, pull up the carpet, and see what kind of mess we're getting into. <laughs> ready? I'm ready. I'm not. Are you? Nope. This is not good. Oh, hold on. We this is the next, uh... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> never had a carpet. Oh my gosh. Never had a carpet rest to the floor before. Ah. <laughs> you need me to get my sister and yeah. show you how to pull that up? Or? Yeah, it's underneath the seat. You'll never see Weight it. Weight reduction, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Is that under padding structural? I think the carpet's structural. <laughs> Let's be real, it's a Miata. Uh, there we go. So far, so good. I'm okay with that. Another Sweet. quarter. And saving up for a coffee? Yeah. How does money get underneath the carpet? Underneath the carpet and your insulation. Yeah. What is going on here? Are you replacing the carpet or are you just... Weight reduction. <laughs> I think that's as far as she'll go without undoing the front. And yeah, the front. unfortunately you have to because we got a... There's a hole there. I know there's a hole there. It's not as bad as I thought. Oh, there's a hole. There's the hole. You can push the rest through there. That's the hole I was feeling. It, you know what? It's not as bad as I originally thought. So It's worse than I originally thought. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the, the owner that sold you this didn't tell you all this, eh? Nope. No. Let's be real. If you can fist the hole, it's bad. <laughs> I can fist that. <laughs> Well, you know they say, rust is also just weight reduction. <laughs> yes, that's so. right. Go fast. Now what you need to do is really soup up the engine and twist the car right in half like a pretzel. <laughs> Let's LS swap it. We're coming swap you better. <laughs> so for safety, you can't have any uh, holes in your floor. So um, I think this panel should be good. But that's it. <laughs> it's not good, Joel. <laughs> Why do you bring this crap here? Oh. Do you know how to weld? Well, I will after this, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so what can we use to patch this? Well, a one-piece floor pan. I don't know. Uh, I don't think the sticker's big enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What are you gonna do? How many kilometers in this thing? 257. Peppa's back! Yeah. <laughs> and you finished the car. Yeah. So what did you all do? Uh, so we had to cut out the floor pans, and then uh, me and my buddy, um, we kind of just took hammers and some 2x4 steel and made a floor pan. Uh, welded that in there, and then once I got seats, I mean, the floors in there, I needed seats. So I got these energy seats from Garage 16. Um, they set me back a little bit, but that's not too bad. They look dirty. They are dirty. <laughs> For me getting dirty here, it yeah, yeah. Nice job on the pan. That's 
a lot more solid than she was. Nice little welds all the way along. Yep. Nicely uh, done. Homemade shift knob. <laughs> oh yeah? Yep. I uh... What'd you make that out of? Um, so at school I just saw two woods that I like because I, in the semester I had wood shop and I had manufacturing. So I just, in wood shop, I just glued the wood together and then in manufacturing I brought it to the lathe and then just put it in the lathe and just machine that out. And, nice. Yeah. Nice. And you lowered it? Yep. Um, I put, I don't know how to pronounce it, but Yonaka spring, like coils in there. Okay. Um, and I dropped it three inches and I still got to get new tires and rims to fit the offset, but. Okay. What are the plans for it now? Um, so I'm not a big fan of the 1.8 liter power. So. Uh, Did you do anything under the hood at all? Uh, no, I have no. not. It's still stock motor and tranny and everything else. Um, so I want to do a swap there. Okay. Yeah. So you figure you hang around here long enough, you'll uh, get into some sort of swap. Yeah. <laughs> well, we found a Honda Pilot and so I know the Honda Pilot has the J35A4, which is a really good 3.5 liter motor. Um, and if you throw like heads and, and a huge turbo in it, and just do some mod, like more modification, you can get you can get around 800 horse out of those. So <laughs> I, that's I, reaching pretty high. <laughs> well, I don't want 800. I just know you can. <laughs> yeah. So if you do like a conservative 600, you'll have a reliable yeah. daily. Yeah, that you can uh, beat the crap out of at the track. Even a 400 would be sick. Yeah. Anything's better than this 100. <laughs> right on. No, that's beautiful. I think we should throw a Cummins in it, but that's already been done. We're not going to do that because uh, Piston Head Productions already did it. So if you want to check that out, go to their site and check out the Cummins Miata. But I think a 3.5 would go fit real nice in there. Yeah, a little bit of mega squirt, a little bit of uh, what? What? Anybody know what five-speed transmission bolts up to a 3.5 Honda? Yeah, the. Uh, You're going Honda. Got a new top. Slapped it on there, and <laughs> it's been working pretty well. Yeah. A How do you slap a top on there? Would you say anybody can do it? Yeah, 100. percent Yeah. Um, it's three bolts down here. It's kind of hard to see with it up. Well, let's take it down. So three bolts here. One, two. Okay. And that's all it holds that in. And then in the back just clips in. And then there's a bar. And the bar just goes around and it just holds your top in. Nice. And then the water drains, comes down here, and there's right down here. That makes you hit it on the bottom here, and that's why your rockers always are at. Uh, okay, did you replace the rockers? I have not yet. No? Well. But they do need to be done? Uh yes. Right on. Yeah. And you fix the screwdriver start? Yeah. Yep, I did. <laughs> but the wires are still hanging. <laughs> yeah, I have put that part back on. I'm oh, she's a work of progress. That's awesome. Plan on getting a quick release wheel. And and, uh, and where did the name Pippa come from? Um, well, there was this little girl out of camp I volunteered at in Alberta. Um, her name was Pippa, and she she's kind of like just a crazy girl. Um, she was really little, and she just if she didn't want you there, she'd be like, no, and so. Yeah, so some days Pippa didn't want me there, so she just wouldn't start, and so, yeah, so without Pippa, because, well. When, when I met Joel, the only thing I didn't like about him was his long hair. I'm like, you hippie, go cut your hair. <laughs> and then I was going to say something, and then he said, so I hate my hair, but another couple inches, and I could donate it to cancer. So I'm like, well, there's really nothing wrong with Pippa, <laughs> with, with, <laughs> with Joel, so. Yeah, beautiful. I hope to see some more of this on the channel, and, uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, great first car. Don't ever sell it. <laughs> Fix that collar! <laughs> hey, hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe because you never know what you're going to see next week on DeBoss Garage. If you like what you see, there's a lot of stuff happening to help support the channel. And remember, if you're not filthy, you're not rich.